welcome to my latest video diary. Um, this morning I've had the absolute delight to spend in a little bit of time with Helen Walton, our senior medical uh, photographer. Um, and here's Helen, and I've got some uh, some great questions for you. So, um, can you talk me through uh, how many patients uh, we photograph on an annual basis? Um, well, since the introduction of the zero um, camera app edition, um, we're doing nearly 10,000 a year, which was last year, up from mm just nearly 3,000 a year before um, and I could never do that amount on my own as a single medical photographer but we've enabled staff to um, take pictures on trust devices on the iPads on the wards and in other departments and that's been a really really exciting development and has been really helpful for patient pathways. And so can all our clinical colleagues take photographs on their iPads? Um, they need to register with us first um, which is a very simple um, thing to do just um, email me and we can get them registered and then they're able immediately to access the camera option on the iPads through Xero um, and they'll receive training information from me when, that's, when they've been registered. And how would a colleague uh, refer a patient to you if they wanted to, you specifically to take photographs? Yeah, so I still do my own outpatient clinics for photography um, and that can be, a patient can be referred via ICE or via the medical photography page on AlexNet. Fabulous. And you were talking to me earlier about the transformation in your role over the last 10 or 15 years, um, completely modernising it. Um, yeah. Just talk me through some of the differences between now and a decade ago, maybe. Um, well, we used to shoot on film for a start, and then we went to digital, which helped a lot. Um, got me out of the dark room, and all the medical photographers everywhere. <laughs> but the, the real developments have come with the digital apps, you know, the patient staff can now take photographs using devices, it's a lot easier than cameras. We used to have cameras throughout the trust supporting staff with their needs to take pictures in clinics in other areas that I couldn't get to all the time because I only work 30 hours a week. Um, so it's transformed the way that we image patients here in PAH. Um, all patient images are stored on zero and can be viewed on there. Fabulous. So we've got a complete record and patient record of uh, all, all images that are taken. Yeah, if we, you can always have a read of the medical photography policy, patient photography policy, and all the information about mm. our imaging is in mm. there. Patients. There is a consent procedure, a verbal consent that staff have to talk through with patients, but it's also in the training document that's sent out on registration. Um, so colleagues obviously have to be registered on zero to be able to take images. What if you're not registered mm. on zero? Um, there is the option of using Alertive on mobile devices to take photos of patients, um, but these images are not automatically uploaded to the patient record, which is a requirement of our trust policy. So staff can take the pictures and then they need to send them to the medical photography role on Alertive and then they will be uploaded to zero. Not immediately, it's not as immediate as zero, but they will be uploaded in line with our policies. So I'd like to remind staff that you should only be using Xero or Alertive to photograph patients here at PAH and never use a personal device to do that. Fabulous. So the idea would be people would get registered with Xero and then we've got a proper record. Uh, but if not, or whilst they're getting registered, take the photos on Alertive, send yeah. them to you um, and then you'll be able to upload them. But obviously, don't take anything on your personal device ever. That's correct. And uh, what does the future look like, do you think? Um, well, we're looking at more and more departments coming on to Xero to photograph their patients. I'm here as admin to support everyone and to get people registered. Um, dermatology have just come on, radiology staff as well. And we're looking at the teledermatology project, which is a big, could be a big change and um, transformative in dermatology treatment for patients. Fabulous. Well, thank you. Thank you for all that you do. No and thank you for uh, supporting our colleagues in looking out for our patients. Thank you very much. It's, um, we've had so many new exciting developments. I'm really proud of the staff, how they've taken on the new technology and they do, they're doing so well. But so I'm here with the PAX team, Stephen and Jack, to offer full support in radiology. Brilliant. Thank you again and thanks very much for your time today. Thank you. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that interview with Helen. Uh, what a fantastic service and a true example of how we're modernising and using digital uh, to transform the support for the care that we provide for our patients.
A uh, couple of other quick updates uh, from me. Firstly, a huge thank you to everybody who is involved in uh, supporting our patients uh, through the Junior Doctors Industrial Action the week before last. Huge amount of energy and effort and lots of uh, changes to ways of working. Thank you and thank you in advance for the preparation for the next uh, Junior Doctors Strikes uh, from the 11th of April for four days. Uh, and a reminder of a couple of other things. Uh, this Friday, 31st of uh, March, uh, we have our latest Schwartz round uh, in the Learning Education Centre, uh, 1215 to 115, uh, all about neurodiversity. So if you can get along, please do. There's, uh, there'll be some food and, uh, and a free lunch there. Uh, and then finally, uh, next week on the uh, Thursday, the 4th of April, uh, we have our latest uh, Trust Board uh, meeting in public. So if you'd like to come along, uh, observe for all or part of the meeting uh, about what's discussed in, uh, in the Trust Board, uh, then please do. Uh, thank you. Thank you as ever for watching and if you're interested in showcasing what you do, what your team does, what your specialty does, what your department does, uh, then please get in contact with the communications department and we'll find a time to come along and speak to you. Thank you very much.